Hi, Pastor Mark Jeske here for Time of Grace. Welcome to the second of the Prepare for Christmas videos this Advent season, preparing your home for Christmas, preparing your heart for Christmas as well. Well, our tree is up. There must be a tree in almost every Christian home in America and in the world. It's a custom, you know, that started many centuries ago in North Central Europe, but Americans have joyfully grabbed onto that custom and we love it to show the everlasting nature of the covenant God has with us. The evergreen is the, the life that Jesus brings to give us now and in eternity. As you know, the first thing you need to do once you get that tree stabilized in its stand, get a little water on it, is to put the lights on. Do you ever wonder why we do that? What's with the lights? Well, I think I have a few ideas for you, a few suggestions of the concept behind the lights and to be real intentional while you're putting them on there. As you look at these lights, especially in a darkened room, and isn't that when your tree is the most beautiful, when you turn off most or all of the lights in the other rooms and the tree just glows? It kind of reminds you of the night sky, doesn't it? The sky that those shepherds must have seen when they first heard good news that a Savior had been born. And the lights that we string and hang up and loop around our tree round and round are little tiny lights that wink and glow just as the stars did in that night sky. Perhaps you like the colored ones or maybe you like us uh, went with the white ones. Either way, those remind us of the twinkling stars that were the witnesses of the first angel message. Another reason why lights are so important for us Christians is that Jesus said, I am the light of the world. We struggle with a lot of darkness, don't we? Some of the darkness is in the evil and cruelty and ugliness and sin in the world around us. Some of that darkness is in our insides because we have evil within us as well. But lights drive away darkness. Jesus drives away sin. And especially uh, Christianity, you know, was uh, developed and brought over to our country from Europe and that's in the Northern Hemisphere. And in December, the traditional time for the birth of Christ, it is very close to that winter solstice. It is dark and we love to light up our homes to make them more cheerful because it seems like there's so much darkness and so little daylight. The lights on our trees extend the daylight as it were and remind us that even in a world of darkness, Jesus is here. He's here with his word to speak to us so that we're not left alone. He's here in spirit. He's here with his angels to give us the protection that we need. He's here with his messages of love, his I love you messages. And now in week two, we're hearing a second round of the messages of love of Jesus. I am coming for you. I'm coming as I, the first time as I promised and I'm coming for you again. So as we string the lights around the trees, we're reminded of the light that Jesus brings into our lives, the hope that it brings to know we're loved, the assurance that it brings to know that we're forgiven, the guidance that the Bible gives us. So in a world of confusion, we have clarity. In a world that seems to belong to the devil and evil, and that evil has triumphed, it's so encouraging to see light driving back the darkness, that truth, the truth of Jesus, is going to win out. This gives us hope as we look forward. And even though Christmas isn't here yet, we know he's going to come, as he said. And even though he has not come yet for his final return, we know he will. And we know that the darkness and brokenness of this earth someday soon are going to give away to the brilliant and bright lights of heaven. That's the ultimate thing. As we bring lights on our tree in this dark time of year, it's a little reminder of the time when we're going to live in the presence of the radiant Son of God himself, and we too will shine in his reflected glory. For Time of Grace, I'm Pastor Mark Jeske, reminding you that every day is a day of God's wonderful grace for you.